geometry point a dot represents a point mark a dot on a piece of paper we name a point by a capital letter say a b p or q here we name the dot as p we say that p is a point a point has no dimensions it has no length no breadth or thickness line segment when two points are connected it is said to be a line mark two points on a paper and name them a and b with the help of a ruler join both the dots this is called a line segment ab this is written as ab properties of a line segment a line segment has two end points a line segment has a beginning and an end. A line segment is a part of a line. A line segment has a definite length but no breadth or thickness. Let us see some examples. In this figure, the line segments AB and CD meet at a point O. In this figure, the line segments P, Q and R, S meet at R. Line A line segment when extended endlessly on both sides is called a line and we denote it as A, B. Properties of a line A line has no end points. It has no definite length. To denote a line, we draw a line segment and draw arrows at both the ends. Ray When we join two points P and Q and extend it on one side from point P or point Q, it is called a ray. Since a ray is endless in one direction, it cannot be drawn on a paper. We denote a ray by drawing an arrow at the end of the extended line. Properties of a ray A ray consists of many points. A ray has a beginning but it has no end. A ray extends indefinitely on one side only. The length of a ray cannot be measured. Different types of lines Horizontal lines When a line is drawn straight from left to right in the way a pencil lies on a table, it is called a horizontal line. In this figure, the line AB is a horizontal line. Vertical lines When a line is drawn straight from top to bottom like a pole standing in a ground, it is called a vertical line. In this figure, the line CB is a vertical line. Oblique or slanting line When a line is drawn in a slanting position like that of a ladder in a slanting position, it is called an oblique line. In this figure, line EF is an oblique line. Measuring line segments When an existing line segment has to be measured, a ruler can be used. Put the ruler along the line in such a way that one of its edges touches both the points A and B and the zero mark of the ruler is at A. Now read the ruler mark at B. The reading of the scale at B gives the length of the line segment AB in centimeters. Here it reads 5 centimeters. When you need to draw the line for a given measurement, follow these steps. Step 1. Put the ruler on the paper and hold it firmly. With the help of a sharp pencil, mark a point P against the zero mark of the ruler and a point Q against the 6 cm mark of the ruler. Step 3. Move the pencil from P to Q along the edge of the ruler. Thus, we obtain the line segment PQ. 
plane figures. A rectangle, a square, a triangle or a circle are called plane figures. Square A, B, C, D is a square. It has four sides. A, B, B, C, C, D and A, D. It has four corners. A, B, C and D. All the sides of a square is equal. A, B, B, C, C, D and A, D. Rectangle A, B, C, D is a rectangle. It has four sides. A, B, B, C, C, D and A, D. It has four corners. A, B, C and D. In a rectangle, all the sides are not equal but opposite sides are equal. Side A, B is equal to side C, D and side B, C is equal to side A, D. Triangle A, B, C is a triangle. It has three sides A, B, B, C and A, C. It has three vertices A, B and C. Circle A circle has one curved side. It has no corners. Let us do some examples based on the shapes. Look at the picture and count the number of triangles in each figure. In figure 1, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 triangles. In figure 2, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 triangles. In figure 3, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 triangles. Look at the picture and count the number of rectangles in each case. In bigger 1, we have 1, 2, 3, 3 rectangle. In bigger 2, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 rectangle solids an object that occupies space is called a solid a cuboid cube cylinder sphere and cone are called solids cuboid a cuboid has six rectangular faces the opposite faces of a cuboid are identical a cuboid has 12 edges, namely AB, BF, EF, AE, AD, BC, FC, EH, DC, CG, GH and DH. Three edges of a cuboid meet at a point called a vertex. A cuboid has eight vertices namely A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. Examples of a cuboid are matchbox, book, box, etc. Cube When the length and the breadth of a cuboid are equal, it is said to be a cube. Examples of a cube are ice cubes, sugar cubes, dice, etc. Cylinder 
A cylinder has two plane faces and one curved face. It has two edges, both of which are circular. A cylinder has no vertex. The base and the top of a cylinder are of the same shape and size. Examples of cylinder are gas cylinder, etc. Sphere A sphere has no edges or corners. It has only one curved face. The objects which are in the shape of a ball are known as a sphere. Cone A cone has one plane surface which is its base and a curved face. It has only one edge and one corner. The corner is also called a vertex. Examples of a cone are birthday caps, cone ice creams, etc.